So today is the 17th of March and as most people know it is St Patrick's Day and I made a cocktail for this last year and I'm making one today. I put on a green shirt of sorts. Okay yes it says Cabo San Lucas on it. Sorry about that. I don't have one that says uh, Eringo Bra or something like that. Uh, but nonetheless I put on the Pogues again as I did last year and at the moment we're listening to the Sick Man of Cucullum which is um, actually super appropriate for me to do because he mentions in it go, uh, getting um, kicked out of the Euston Tavern when it, when it was his shout and uh, so it's it, the song itself is, really speaks to as many of the Pogues songs do to the, um, dias the Irish diaspora that settled in London and the cocktail we're going to make today has that similar sort of connection. It's uh, called the Tipperary, and it, it first appears in, in print around 1916 during the First World War, the cocktail that is. But the song itself, a long, It's a Long Way to Tipperary, came out in 1912 and became adopted as an anthem in the First World War for soldiers. And uh, that also talks about my old neighborhood, more or less, Piccadilly Circus and Leicester Square. I'm not gonna sing it to you because no one wants that terrible thing. So my, my suspicion is that the uh, cocktail is named after the song. I could of course be wrong about that, but it seems like the year is right. It does have something green in it. I'm not, like, as I've said before, I'm not gonna drink a green beer today, uh, but I will drink, um, something with this wonderful green liqueur in it, the uh, Chartreuse Vert, the, um, the the French made by monks delicious that is allegedly the only naturally green liqueur, liquor, spirit that is produced in the world. Forget Midori, as I've said before, the hat is with food colouring in it. Um, anyway, we're going to make this cocktail and it's an, not surprisingly an Irish whiskey cocktail and I'm just going to use Paddy's. Last year I used some Red Breast 15. Oh, the horror using such expensive whiskey. But as I said, and I've always said, if you're going to make a cocktail, you can use the best ingredients you have. But I like this stuff and we're going to use that. Um, there is an original recipe, so the Embury recipe and the early 1910s recipes, 1920s, had it as an equal parts drink. Um, the Dead Rabbit uh, came up with a different version, and this is mostly like that, but I'm doing it slightly differently, but it's mostly based on the Dead Rabbit version of the Tipperary cocktail. So let's go for that. And now, this is just a little heavier on the whiskey and lighter on the other two ingredients. So anyway, one and a half ounces of Irish whiskey like so, into your mixing glass already filled with ice. Next, some sweet or red vermouth. That is the Italian vermouth, although this shockingly is Noyer Prat, so it's French, but oh, what can I say? I'd, this is what I've got in. And, uh, and by the way, whatever you decide to use for the whiskey, I'm sure it'll be just fine. This is very similar to a bijou, which is sort of similar ingredients, but it, it's made with gin. Anyway, one ounce of sweet vermouth like so and then this final alcohol well they're all alcoholic ingredients apart from the very last twist uh, we're going to use our green chartreuse here and this just calls for a half an ounce oh, you can really smell that complex herbaceous deliciousness i really do like this stuff it's a bit spendy but it is fantastic and then the original recipe did not call for any bitters or anything like that but the dead rabbit one does and i'm going to go with that with a couple of dashes of orange bitters like so. I always use my Angostura orange bitters as I've mentioned before. Then we just come down to stirring it. And, while, and now the song's moved on to the old main drag out in another cheerful number from the pose is Shane McGowan who interestingly although he's not from Tipperary did he was born in in the UK I believe in fact I'm sure of it in 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 England but he used to spend summers in Tipperary, so I think that makes everything much more appropriate. And, well, not there wasn't already, of course. The only inappropriate thing is this Cabo San Lucas in Mexico thing. I think, you know, okay. Well, maybe also an Englishman making an Irish name cocktail, but you know, whatever. I am speaking an international language of cocktails here. Okay, that is nice and chilly, which is exactly what we want. I've, I've uh, chilled a cocktail glass. I'm actually using a Nick and Nora glass. That seems like the right one for this drink. Sort of of the era as well. You know, you're talking like the early parts of the 20th century. This seems per perfectly good glass to use. Although, <laughs> use what you've got, that's fine. Anyway, we strain this drink into 
our chilled cocktail glass. And chilling your cocktail glass really does help, as I've mentioned before, keeps the drink at temperature for just a little bit longer. Then the final thing we're going to do, and I also picked this up from the uh, Dead Rabbit recipe, is, and also others that I've seen, Diffords and Liquor.com, um, is the twist of orange. You need a freshish orange because if it's, if it's all soft, you won't be able to do this, which is you're gonna twist out, and express the oils from the, the peel, and you, you can put it in if you want to, but it just it gets cool in your mouth or whatever. You don't need it. You've got the oil in there already. You get that aroma as you get to take the drink. And let's actually then just see what we've got. Oh, fantastic. Slancha and happy St. Patrick's Day.